Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Mail call and a trip down memory lane on, on one kit. These are from Ollie's, but not my Ollie's. Stick around guys, I'll share some cool stuff with you. About a week or so ago, uh, my buddy Neil, who is also a retired police officer uh, from California and I were texting back and forth and he sent me some pictures of some kits that he picked up at his Ollie's, which were cool. And uh, I told him, I said, man, my Ollie's never has the same kits, uh, apparently, as you guys do. And there was a couple of them I really liked. And, well, I got a package in the mail. And guess what? Uh, first up, as you saw in the thumbnail, the AMT 70 Corvette LT1ZR1 Coupe. This has got that really cool... Uh, hood scoop on it. You got pad printed tires with the red lines on one side, Goodyear on the other, pad printed, good stuff. These things, these newer kits have some great decals too. Neil, brother, love you, man. I appreciate this very, very much. Um, also, these decals got a lot of license plates, uh, some vanity tags too. Your scripts are uh, in decals, the breather decals, a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, there's your parts look, and uh, just cool, just cool. Again, brother, appreciate you. But this one takes me back. When I was a kid, I remember going into TGNY and buying the Myers Manx dune buggy. And I worked on this thing, and, I, and I, this was one of my favorite little shelf models. Uh, I remember I painted it like Tester's Yellow, which was just a really terrible shade of yellow. Uh, spray bombed it. and uh, But I love this kit. I love this kit. And I'd seen them on other um, Facebook pictures and stuff where people had them at their Ollie's. But mine never had this, the 70 Vet or this one. Um, and I kept going back and checking on them to see, but they never did. And Neil, again, dude, you the man. You the man. Um and I'm thinking about it yellow again, but uh, I don't know. But there's like three or four different ways to build this thing. Um, I'm eager to look at the decals and all that other stuff. But we'll get into a box opening on that another time. Um, but this thing's got, oh, uh, let's see. You got the sand paddle, the plastic sand paddle tires. Or I don't know if they're sand paddles, but sand tires. Uh, you've got these meaty looking things here, which are rubber. And I can't tell if that says... They're pad printed. You see the white letters on there. Firestone. Uh, da, da, da. It does not say. No, it doesn't say whether they're pad printed. It doesn't matter for what, what you can do it for. Cool. Uh, custom exhaust. Twin carbs. You've got an optional Surrey top. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one comes with transparent orange windows and clear. So this is going to be fun. Going to be cool again. Um, haven't seen this kit in a long time. Um, I know it's been released once or twice. And I, it's one of those things where, like usual, I kept procrastinating until it was gone again. But uh, now I got it. <laughs> so, Neil, again, thank you, buddy. Also, that came in the mail today my Salvino's kit of the month and first thing let's look at the uh, extra decals that come with it and there's as you saw on the thumbnail the uh, I don't know why I put these back up there's your monthly sticker but the 75th anniversary Camaro the decals for it were in here which is cool and you all we also got what we've seen before another set of the uh, Budweiser Aero Coupe um, decals junior johnson car uh for the camaro you've got all of the window trim your grill um headlights tail lights all that the, the the extra little trim trim stuff and then for the 75th anniversary of nascar you've got the 75th anniversary decals and guys these things are awesome these things are uh of course uh cardiograph made by uh or put out by power slide and a uh, Cardiograph, as I recall, is an Italian company, but and and Clay Kemp, our buddy Clay Kemp, uh, 
does the master work on these things and I mean just look at this these things are beautiful great finish brilliant colors um, just just really great 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 decals but the one thing I want to share with you now this is an older kit as far as the uh, the old monogram Monte Carlo SS you know there were two versions of this that they released and there's a couple things I want to share with you about this kit um, early on in the season they ran the the silver threes and they couldn't be seen so they decided to uh, change those over to white but this is a great early season um, look at this and you'll also notice that um, the name is missing from the car that's a licensing thing but uh, you can probably salvage that from a number of other locations tires now this is one of the things I want to show you the uh, windshield uh, Jim Rogers with Salvino's Jim went to work and redid the windshield and this windshield fits so much better so much better um, glad they did that um, and then there's your opera windows and all that stuff uh, but a great great mold and this is an older mold obviously uh, I don't see eh, there's a little flash right there that's easily removed and for an old kit though but it's good to see one of these old friends I built three or four of these uh, aero coupes over the years and uh, really nice kits you got your Laughlin uh, front steer chassis and this looks to be just the old monogram molds. And, oh, we don't have chrome in this one. Um, which is actually more accurate. But this is what I wanted to share with you down here too, was these decals. Uh, I have been hearing some great stuff about these too. And of course, these are once again cardiograph uh, put out by PowerSlide. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we talked about, uh, while I'm working on the 30-second scale Lumina, the, uh, the interior and the border around the numbers were actually more orange than they were. Uh, man, that silver is beautiful. That is really sharp. Um, wow. I don't know if you can see the reflectiveness. I mean, it's not mirror-like, but the reflectiveness on these. This is just some super quality here. This is really sharp. But anyway, it's more orange than uh, red. And if you remember the old monogram kits, they were just red, red, which was, it was only game in town, but it, and it wasn't bad. It just wasn't right. But these are, again, the cardiograph, and these things are just beautiful. Look at that, the, the shine on the decals. Awesome, awesome stuff. I am so glad to see these things out. And another classic, the first good wrench car. Really cool. But that's the additions for the day, guys. I wanted to share those with you. Uh, classic Earnhardt car, and, and that stroll down memory lane when it comes to that uh, Myers Manx. Uh, wow, that. Uh, <laughs> That that is going to be on go on the build list too. Um, I don't know where, but <laughs> it'll go on there. But a cool kit that that I I would like to do. It looks like it's a pretty low uh, parts count, but I would like to try to dress it up a bit. And um, you know I wouldn't mind having a real Manx myself. Guys, again, thanks so much. Head over to Hobby Nut Models. Check out the kits. And hey, if you're not in the 55 uh, Ford build and you want to just build along whether you're a content creator or not, head over to Hobby Nut Models. Mark's got a great deal on uh, the 55s. Jump, grab you one of the trucks and uh, jump in and build along with us and uh, post your pictures on Facebook groups or wherever uh, and share them with us. Uh, we all learn from each other. But we appreciate you. Guys, God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thank you.